Welcome to John's Workshop Diary. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're changing out this old um, solar panel charge controller for another one of these. So I've got that down here. Already to be installed, and also be adding three more batteries. I'm going to wire all them in. They're all going to go be dipped to be going down there once we get that sorted. All right, so we'll start with changing the solar panel kind of control route. Right, disconnect the solar panel first. tape on these wires so they don't catch on anything. I'm just going to fasten the mounting brackets on there, screw them on. The mounting brackets are good because they're threaded so you can just thread the screw straight into them. So when you put them on there, you can just put the screw in without no nuts and bolts. I prefer to put the mounting brackets on because it keeps it a bit further away from the back wall, gives a bit more air circulation. So put that one there. Line it up with the other one, some screws in. back in first hopefully
Well, that's the solar panel all in and charging. Charging away, so we're up together. Right, now I've got to sort out some wiring for these things. So, going to get some stuff. Back in the workshop now. Um, I'm going to use this piece of copper pipe as like a buzz bar for the these clamps to fasten onto. So I've marked it where each one's got to go. And so what I'm just going to do now is flatten this in the vise and then drill these holes. So just going to make that. So three holes done. And these should just fit on. And that. That's a wrong long back of the batteries. Uh, just got to remeasure this one now because this is going to have to have different connection on this end. So I've got to sort that out now. Well, I did a test piece for the van with an off cut and um, put them two in, then flatten that. That works well in the van. I've even put the hole for the air vent for the the battery. So I thought I'd transfer that to the the main one. It started off well, but then all of a sudden it went all to pot at the end. So I've had to scrap that one and start again. Uh, did this one, the short one, then a long one, short one, long one, so on. So I got to the end and that worked out okay. So that's all ready to go in the van. I've got one of these already in the van, which will be fastened in there. So we're we'll going to get this and see if we can get it fitted in the van.
Right, I've got all the batteries in. In here, got all my bars on, all the wires. Uh, made up a loose shelf for them all to go on. Fasten them all in. There's a bead at the back which they slot under, and there's a piece down there, like a lip. So now all I've got to do is um, put the bars this side and screw them in. All the batteries are fastened in now, so they're not going anywhere. And all I've got to do now is put the vent pipes in. And I'm going to 3D print some T's and a, a junction to go out here. So I'll go and do that now. Right, here's all the T's printed, ready to go in the van. So we'll go and put them in the van. Let's get them out of here. Right, got all my battery vent pipes on. Uh, here's the ones I printed out earlier. Um, if anyone wants the files to print these themselves, I'll upload them to Thingy View for them to download, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, so they're all nice and tidy now. So, look, yeah, it's all charging nicely up there. All right, I'm going to end the video there, and. Um, I'll catch you on the next video. Right, thanks for watching.